Hey everyone, this is Andrew with an AWS tutorial series on recognition. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use recognition in the AWS CLI to detect labels as well as detecting faces on a few pictures. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's take a look at the API. Um, so here we're looking at the detect labels API and you can see that this is very, very easy to use. Um, so we call detect labels, we're going to pass an image and we're going to use S3 to store that image uh, and that's the one that we're going to analyze. Uh, now if we jump over to detect faces, again it's the exact same thing except a different command here. Uh, we're going to store the object in S3, call detect faces, and we're going to analyze it. So now let's jump over to S3 and we're going to create a bucket. I'm going to select a region for my bucket and I'm going to give my bucket a name. And this is where we're going to upload a couple photos that we're going to analyze. So we'll click create. The next thing we'll do is we're going to upload some photos into this bucket. And before I do, I want to show you the photos that we're going to analyze. Um, so pretty simple stuff here. We're going to analyze a picture of a couple cats that are sitting in some grass. We're going to analyze a photo of Justin Bieber and a picture of a corgi. So this should be fun. Um, so let's go ahead and upload these to S3. We'll click Add Files and we'll drop all these in there and click Start Upload. Great. Now that those are uploaded, we're going to run the recognition command. So you can see here, I have it set up uh, as an example here with no data, but we're calling recognition, detect labels, and we're going to pass an S3 object to that image. Um, so you can see here, uh, as I have this all filled out, um, I'm saying the bucket name, the name of the file is cats.jpg, and the version is going to be one because we're not using versioning within S3. Uh, you can see here I have some uh, characters escaped as well for the command. So the output of the command is quite cool. Um, so we can see here as we scroll up that they are 96% confident that this is an adorable picture and I would totally agree um, that they're 93% confident it's an animal, it's a cat, it's a kitten, it's a mammal, and various other things like, uh, you know, they're in a grassland and there's plants around. Um, so there's a lot of cool data that is presented to us from that command. Now on the flip side here, if we want to analyze a corgi, uh, we're going to see that we're going to get a different animal back. So we know that it's an animal, 95% confident. It's going to be a canine, it's going to be a dog, a mammal, all sorts of other good stuff. Um, it's questionable if it's a husky, they're about 66%. So again, this is not a, you know, completely accurate, but I believe it's going to get more accurate over time as it keeps recognizing more images. So now let's take a look at detecting faces. And in this case, we're going to analyze Justin Bieber. Um, so once we click enter on here, it's going to give us a whole ton of great information back about the photo. Um, so we can see here um, that it's recognized that there is a face and it has some bounding box details. And it even recognizes the left eye, the right eye, the nose, the mouth, all sorts of crazy stuff. Now let's do one more thing on Justin Bieber's photo. Let's just go ahead and detect the labels and see what it gets back. So in this case, it knows that it's a person, it's a human, they have clothing, that he's wearing denim. You know, all sorts of good information about that photo, and they're pretty confident about it. So that concludes our tutorial on using Amazon recognition. There's a million different ways that you can use this within your app, and I'm so excited to see how a lot of new apps are going to be developing using this particular type of service. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below, and please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.